Good day, everyone. Darkness to the stars here. Welcome to uh, Epic Battle Fantasy 3. Now, we did the first two of the series a while ago, and, well, they were kind of ignored, but I figured uh, I already put it on my page that we're going to do all the games, and would you know what? A fifth one came out, and I, re and I was like, okay, maybe not. Then I was like, okay, yeah, but Flash is going to end soon. I know we were doing Emerald, but that's going to be on hold till we uh, finish this game. Because once Flash stops working, we won't be able to play this one. But I noticed the 4th and the 5th were on Steam, so we will, on the other hand, be able to play those ones. Got any options? Oh, yeah. Quality high frame skip. Volume 10. Why is it on 10? Hopefully that's... That'll be good. I don't know. We'll find out how good it is. Here in a minute. Alright. So yeah, let's get into this game. I don't really... I kind of remember the story. Wait. Hmm? He's a good guy? No? Uh, I can't read all that. Okay. Oh, this looks scary. Yes, yeah, just just the rest. Jeez. Okay. And here we are. Metals. There's metals. Hmm. Oh dear. We'll have to figure those out. Uh, Alright, let's start our game, shall we? Hmm, so, if you guys don't remember, in the first one basically it was just a you go around battle things. Battle boss, I believe, was uh, Goku, we kicked his butt, obviously. Then, we played the second game. Looks like one of the main, well, apparently one of the main characters of this game was the bad guy of it. But that's cool, we get to play as him now. He was a pretty cool guy. He basically wanted to make the whole world for himself and all that stuff. Kind of implemented a little story to it, which was honestly really cool, I think. Uh, so we're gonna go with this one. Let's begin, shall we? A few years ago, a great battle against an evil entity rocked to the earth. The destruction left the population enfeebled and struggling to survive. A mighty warrior, Lance the Gunner, took this opportunity to conquer the land. I was just gonna explain it all, okay. However, he was promptly defeated by Matt the Swordman and Natalie the Magician. Following this battle, the three young heroes teamed up, hoping that no new evil force would defeat their combined power, and once more bring chaos to the world. Ooh. The trio spent their days hunting treasure and challenging new opponents. Eventually, legends and rumors led them to an ancient tomb, the resting place of a powerful deity. To their surprise, it seemed that this being was still alive, merely imprisoned and induced into a deep sleep. Curiosity took the tr Curiously, the trio prodded the chained demon. The demon qu quickly awoke, awoke with a violent shockwave. The trio were stunned and unable to retaliate as powerful magic tugged at their souls. The demon began to drain their life energy, but as the heroes were so powerful, their combined energy was too much for him to absorb, and they survived the ordeal. However, the power of the demon was now so dense, it began to distort the space and time around him, forming a growing void of nothingness. When the trio awoke, they found themselves in a foreign land, with most of their powers drained and their equipment scattered throughout the continent. They were reduced to the status of ordinary adventurers. They would not give up until they have remedied this situation. Clearly it was not just their problem, but the entire world. An ancient and mysterious deity, now possessing their combined powers, was free to waste upon the land. 
Oh, by the way, use WAS being near your arrow keys to move around. Speak to interact with stuff. M or escape. Also open the menu. M or escape. Also open the menu. Oh, this is completely different from the uh, last one. Well, the other two. Looks like we are, yeah, looks like we got a whole party and we're gonna actually be walking around this time. That level doesn't really make all that sense, but if you say so, let's even walk through. <laughs> let's grab it. Some gold and kiwis. He was now like a 30, 300 HP. That'll be handy. Oh, here we go. Text. <clears throat> well, what just happened? Told you guys not to touch that thing. I felt my magic being drained from me. I don't think I can use it now. You look dead. Smelled dead too. Never expected anything like this to happen. It's probably still out there. Doing who knows what. Well, I guess we've landed pretty far away. This landscape is unfamiliar. It looks like a farm on some village. Guess we better have a look around. I just want my sword back. I just, I spent years stealing those. That's not an immediate concern, but I guess we'll need to recover our skills and weapons at some point if we're to fight that guy again. Nice. So, uh, oh. Allow the story. Uh, whatever, I don't care. Alright, looks like we got NPCs and a lot of stuff around. Oh, no, you can even talk to the dogs. I didn't want to go there yet. What about these guys? See a house over there? It's been locked and abandoned for years. I bet you could find some cool stuff if you manage to get in. Uh, no, I wouldn't do that. Not you. Quest. Get flowers. Okay. It's the things you don't see coming that really get you down. My friends all died protecting the town from a giant red slime, which fell from the sky. How on earth did that happen? I wish I had flowers to put on their graves. Alright. Then. I feel bad for his friends. Some people. Meow. Get cat food. Premium brand cat food for hungry cats. Oh, cool. This is my cat, Meow Meow. He likes to cut. I remember him. Meow Meow. He was in the other game. Big ol' sword. I always make sure to have plenty of food handy when traveling, so I grab a snack for fast recovery, especially when there's fighting involved. Talk to a lady in, in the inn to take a nap. It's free and fully replenishes your HP and MP. Or you could just walk around and heal over time. So you can just walk and heal? Ew, what a crummy looking place. Look at the statue of these people. The state of these people. Let's get out of here as soon as we can. They have beer and food. Awesome. I'll settle for an energy drink or the closest thing to that. But you don't look well. Didn't sleep well at night. I could hear all the noises from the bar, even in at my room. Not you. You don't look well. I got wiped out by a monster. Luckily, autosave saved my progress after each screen I passed. Hadn't got past the first screen of the forest, though. Now I think I might have dr drank a bit too much. Got a cure for hangover? Apparently, pineapple green potion and red potion. Bottle of monster blood. What? Cast the dead and hits all foes with poison damage. Okay, there's a lot of items we're gonna have to learn. Cause this is where we'll be sleeping. Doesn't look very clean. And what the hell is she doing here? Well, I'm taking those. Beer, soft drink, and milk. Ew. What am I doing here? Uh, some, uh, some guy took me in a treasure box. I saw it. Okay, cool. So we can sleep there. What about with you? Food. Holy smokes, we are poor. Good to know that we're going to be getting a lot of money in this game. Holy people. Okay. Hey, did you know you can unlock medals by doing random tasks? Getting medals unlock new pictures in the art gallery and also give you access to some new maps which contain otherwise ob unobtainable treasures. Ooh. So we might actually want to try and get some of those medals. North of here leads out of town into the forest. The inns to the east. Weapon and item shops are to the west. Not much to do in the south. 
mean, so there's a weapon shop here, even. I'm a fine warrior, even if I may not look like it. Look it. Me and that guy over there blow foes away with 180 decibels of pure metal. We can't hear too well, though. I can build you a cool guitar if you bring me some parts. Okay. Maybe lots of speakers lying around. I can show you how to use them to attack foes. Sounds pretty brutal, right? See this crystal here? One that... There's one like it in every area. Once you find them, you can teleport between them simply by talking to them. Pretty cool. That should save us from walking, eh? Pity we can't teleport to places we haven't been to, though. <laughs> That'd be too easy. Hey, you! Yeah, you! If you find me some shiny gems, I'll give you something really good. Like, something amazing. You will love it. I'm an NPC, by the way. Many of us have nothing to say, but some of us do. Make sure you talk to everyone, twice even. Many NPCs have more than one thing to say. The main characters. Without you, there'd be no storyline. Wow. Really? <laughs> okay. No, nothing? Okay. Hey, I'm building a new computer, but I'm missing a few parts. If you don't eat some, I'll share my lunch with you. How about it? Oh, hi there! Would you have to be single? I've always wanted a boyfriend that looks as strong as you. Uh, oh, what? Uh, I, uh, yes, but I, uh... You wanna see my gun? Stop harassing my party members! They're not good at talking to girls, and I'm pretty sure you're a bit too young for... You know... Oh, is this your girlfriend? Why don't you say so right away? I hope you're trolling. We're not allowed to leave the town. You don't say it's too dangerous out there, and it sure looks like it. Most of us have only read about the outside world in books. It would be nice to see it someday. That's so sad. Wow, I don't even really need to say anything about this game. Hey, trash trash. It's just saying everything for me. Want to buy some recently slaughtered creatures? Some logs, maybe? I cut up a lot of stuff with my sword. But then I'd have no use for it. Most of it ends up at my grandmother's shop. Talking about this shop? Hey, down the chest. Cool. Oh. <laughs> I thought the waltz were Spanish at Kavok House. <laughs> Look, there's something back here. It probably belongs to the shopkeeper stuff. Just grab it and run. Okay. Hey, they had weed. What's that? Blood blade. Ooh, a weapon. Drains HP from the target. Boosts the power of drain. Drain. Okay. Oh, excuse me. I've been moving garbage all around all day. My back hurts. But to be honest, the more random items you carry with you, the better off you'll be when you eventually need them. Finding items is always much cheaper than buying them. Poor animals. Why do people have to hunt them? Don't worry, their sacrifices were not in vain. Bet they will taste delicious and make fine clothes. I agreed. I seem to have ran out of building material. Gonna need a few more bricks to finish construction. Bring me some and I'll share some stuff I found in the rubble. A lot of bricks, more like. This must be the weapon shop. What have we got? Some swords and two staffs and a gun? Okay. Two guns. A mask, cat ears, cow ears, and a breastplate. Ooh, that dragon killer looks like it could be good. Have to keep an eye out for some money so we can get that later. Cause that, that honestly looks like maybe the best item. There we go, so Hello, Peggy. Yeah. Oh, I see you looking at my cow costume. How would you like one just like it? Bring me a few items, I'll let you borrow one. Uh, okay. I want to go out and look for treasure, but last time I tried, I was defeated by walking bushes and huge snails. Huh. Kids these days have no interest in farming. Hey, I'd rather become soldiers or scholars. <laughs> There's gonna be no one to take over the farm. That'll be a problem someday. Whoa, where'd you guys disappear from? Uh, we're not sure. Where are we? You're in the town. That doesn't have a name because it's the only town in the game. The entrance to the forest is straight up from here. You guys look like you'd be headed there. Feel free to wander around the shops too. But you don't look like you have much money. Thanks. Alright, so, I gotta say, this game's already interesting. One town. Wasn't there, like, didn't I see it? No. Okay. So, yeah. I guess we're just gonna start making our way to the forest already. Ah-ha! Our first dungeon. 
Doesn't look very interesting, though. Maybe we'll at least find some decent creatures to eat. We're not here to hunt innocent animals, though I guess it's alright to emphasize some if they get in the way. Euphanize, my bad. We should get through this place in five minutes. I don't want you two messing around. Let's hurry up and visit the tougher levels so we can hunt real monsters and not feeble forest vermin. I concur. Let's slaughter everything that moves and get out of here. That's... that's a bit much. Don't you think? Everything that moves? Whoa there, youngsters. Do you know where you're going? The forest is dangerous. There's been all sorts of trouble around here. That's why we've been stationed here to protect the town. Excuse us, but we're not from around here, and we're not ordinary folk, village folk, either. We've got a bit of battle experience. We runs like you. <laughs> well, if you say so, you might want to warm up on those weak green bush enemies behind me, though. Just to get some practice. I mean, we probably should think about it, because if it's going to be like a new battle system, which I'm not really sure about, we'll have to learn. We've had reports of a huge volcanic eruption in some distant land. Don't know much about it, but... Must have been some disaster if people around here could see it. Lancelot over there is the highest ranking knight in town, so he gets first choice of equipment. He took all the weapons and all I got left is this shovel. My job sucks. Well, let's check out these bushes. These guys look weak. Looks like one or two hits should bring them down. Alright. I remember there being a way to like scan enemies in the other one. Is there going to be like a way to do that in this? Uh, maybe not. Unless it's on like another character. Oh, I can change the order. Oh, uh, he, he kind of looks like he'd be a scanner. Aha! Scan. Scan the bush. Let's see what we got. Green bush, level one, small shrub, timid creature, well hidden among other plants. Okay, he's weak to fire, earth, and poison. That's handy, though. Know? Let's just smack him. Wow. I didn't realize he had 70 health. Uh, the lucky star, honestly, might do good, I hope. Uh, did better than I expect. Evade up. Oh my god. We're already starting with this double team stupidity. Whatever, just scan again. What have we got here? Red bush. Small shrub, stronger slightly. A rare variety of bush with better defensive skills. Fire, earth, and wind. Oh, did he have like an earth? Tremor. 50% earth, basic earth attack. Yeah. Let's try that. Never mind, let's not try that. Well, why don't we just do this then? Okay, that did moderate damage, and he did pretty good to me as well. Can I just... Shimmer him again. Also, mouse, please work. There we go. That's it for experience. Ragged cloth and herb. Common plant used for medicine and recreation. Old piece of fabric. Alright. Well, might as well kill the other ones while we're here. That's a lot. Pro tip. Hit the enemies until they die. Uh, no. No. I, I, I totally didn't know that. How do you hit the enemies till they die? Do you just do this? I think I killed it. <laughs> Okay, that actually didn't kill it. Double shot. Standard attack that hits twice. Useful for getting twice the special effect from a weapon. Ooh. What's it that one? That better not be one health. I swear, that's one. I hate my life. <laughs> there we go. Well, this one, we could literally just bonk it and it's pretty much gone. Yeah. <laughs> Bonk it! <laughs> Alright, what else we got? Well, there's the snails. Ew, snails! Move them, please! They do look rather pathetic, but they seem to be blocking some paths, so maybe our extermination efforts will be rewarded. I mean, maybe. Never know. Sweet money and kiwis again. Did you know that monsters that are higher level than you evade attacks much better? Can't hit those targets over there because... They're at a much higher level than me. Yeah, you talking about those? My boyfriend over there wants to protect the town from green slimes, but it looks like his experience level is too low. Isn't he cute? Okay. Glad I saw that. And that. Shh! 
snuck out of town to have a look around. I've heard rumors of something big happening at Volcano Peak. That place is miles away, though. So I'm just asking travelers for details. Get out of here, kid. You'll die. It's safer back in town. Not you. Foes that block paths will never respond, but the others will when you leave the screen. If your team gets wiped out or flees from battles, that foe is the, the foe that defeated you will remain on the map. That's an interesting device you got there, my son. I'm not your son, and it's called a scouter. I stole it from a guy with a rough attitude and a tail. Seems to gauge an opponent's power level. Seems like you already know a bit about it. Remember, you use your scan ability on as many foes as possible. The information you gain will be forever stored in the beast area and can be accessed across many saved games. Okay. Well, that's handy. Also, I, that was hiding in plain sight. I clearly, I actually didn't see that until just now. Here's an even better tip. Don't die. Munch on a kiwi or something if you get tired. Why a kiwi? I mean, sure, the kiwi heals a lot of health. I should probably scan. But... Why the kiwi? Why can't we get something else? Garden snail. Vegetable destroyer. Destroyer of your crops. Attacks with water. Weak to ice, poison, bomb, and earth. I think a snail would be weak to, like, electric as well. Not resist it, like th these ones do. Alright, let's just kill it. So we don't, don't get hit as much. There we go. Well, hopefully this forest won't be too long. Because I would really like us to be able to maybe speed through this game so we can get back to Emerald when possible. And, uh, I made a mistake, I think. Ugh. Oddly. Like, I would really like to get back to Emerald. Nice. Sweet, it level ups. Well, let's see what was up here. One chest. We just crawled through a tree. I did not sign up for this. Isn't nature great? Uh, yeah, it get it, it, it we all did all that for bug wings. Lance, make sure to use your scan ability to collect monster data. It'll be helpful in remembering their weaknesses. Uh, well, let's just kill the slime. No, not the slime. The snail. They're about the same. You, you can't judge me for getting that wrong. For almost saying slime on snail. Alright. Uh, scan the slime. Green slime, forest dwelling slime, most common resident of every forest. It's very weak and only use standard attacks. Alrighty. Uh, I know who we're killing next. A certain snail with bug eye over there. Just so we can get rid of the defense boosted one. So let's get killing that. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. Well, let's hit you. That hits twice? I mean, this is kind of a double-sided sword thing. That looks like a gun, too. You know, I'll take it. <laughs> we might have put logic in the things, so... Yeah, it works. Let's, it, it works. Just use it. Hmm. I gotta be careful with those magic points still. Because I don't want to run out. Right, let's grab those other two chests that were up here. I like how there's a big old turtle there. Is that like a Torterra or something? It's, those things are big. I don't think I'm going to fight those bushes. We fought enough bushes. Oh, that's a big one. More people. Oh my, hello there. You might happen to have some big bug wings in the old wood, would you? That huge lump of slime hasn't left the spot in hours. So I'm just enjoying some tea while we're stranded. I guess we're not really in a hurry anyways. I have in my possession a very peculiar staff. This seems to vastly increase my magic's accuracy. If you lend me your time, I may allow you to borrow it. Sweet. That giant green slime's been blocking the, the road for some time. Wish someone would take care of it already so we can get through the forest. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Well, thanks. 
Have you learned any new skills yet? Remember to check out the skills menu when you have some AP. A lot of enemies here are weak against fire, so you may want to invest in some fire elemental. Okay. I've been guarding this path for many years now. Countless challenges I have warded off. Behind me is a sacred forest guard. I'm afraid I can't let in just anyone. What can we do to get inside? Only those who are pure of heart and have collected 10 metal medals may enter. If you can accomplish that, I may deem you worthy. So if we can get 10 medals, we can go in. And some of your allies die in battle. They can be revived with 1 HP when you finish. Status problems are also healed when you finish battle. Cool. Pfft. Green slimes and garden snails have destroyed most of the crops. Land within the town boundaries is expensive, so I'll have to deal with this, I guess. I'll help. That's not a green slime. That's like a cat slime. Oh, let's kill the green one. I promised him I'd help. There's only one way to help, and that's actually to kill the thing that you said you would kill. Let's scan. There we go. Furry slime. Gelatin, gelatin animal. A slime that bred with a furry animal. Slightly stronger than normal green slime. I'd say, if it did that much damage, it definitely must be slightly stronger. Wow, it took a hit pretty well, too. Oh, it's level three. That makes sense. C can you just die? Go away. Thank you. There's still not... There's more? That's a lot. Sure, taking their time. Uh, anvil meet the earth, fire, ice, thunder, dark poison, fire. Is that a furry? Yeah, that's a furry too. Okay, well. Uh, let's just start killing the furry slimes, I guess. Heal. Ooh, heal. Might need that, because there's a lot of enemies. Also good to know a wave can consist of five enemies. By which I mean I'm not very excited. Alright, just hit it. Alright, we got one. I gotta figure out what, like, element his weapon is. Because if I can figure that out, that would honestly be very handy. I think. Alright, uh... So, let's start working on this one now. Um. All right. This time I want you to shoot this one. Wow. Fifty-eight's not too bad. Hopefully this will kill. I know it does pretty good damage at times. Well, did not at least. Might need to heal. What? Really? 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 Oh dear. Very random. Ah, that makes sense why it's doing a lot of random damage. It even says, very random! Well, let's just hit you for 20 or 30. That's even better. Extra point damage. I think such damage won't kill me. I wish I could tell who was talking. I can actually do the voice. Oh well. Alright, we're gonna try and save up on some of her magic points. Yeah, there we go. Level up. Nice. Ah, oh, we got more. Though. So, um. Can we heal from you? Yeah. Alright, let's heal. Heals and allies. MP. Yeah, let's use some of those. Stat. Stat boosting items. Oh! Miscellaneous keys. Um, I also see the skills that we can get. Poison, I think. Yeah. Basic poison attack, poison target. That'd be good. 
All right, they said to get some fire, so let's get a little fire. Oh, hey, the metal. All right, let's get some more fire. Why don't we? There we go. Now they can use fire, except for him. Snail and some furry things. That's fine. Hit him with earth. Because that's what you're good for. Then, let's hit... Since you guys are weak with fire, let's hit you with fire. See how that... that Learned fire spell. That should wipe out all those bushes and slime enemies pretty quick. Cool. Basic fire magic. I don't think that's magic. That's just bang. Fire bullets. Not really one for the magic, I'd say. But if you say so, cool. All right, uh, I like how I click and then it's just like, nah. Sometimes. So there goes that fire again. Just finish that one off. Poor little cat. Uh, good experience, I think. Why is someone farming bacon out here? Might as well grab one. Oh, fine. I'll leave the pigs alone. Grab one. I want a pig. Can I have a pig? Please? No? Hey, bacon! <laughs> What's this? Star hair clip. Boost the power of lucky star and star shower. And coffee. Ooh, revives the fallen ally. Alright, uh, well... Uh... Ribbon. Resistant to fire. Boost the power of fire. Rain. Fire rain. I guess we take on the slime now. Okay, we actually got some different music now. That's that's cool. All right. Um. So let's hit this one with fire. Wow. It lived with 32 HP. Kill you. Did just enough. Didn't even need the second hit. Alright, so this thing should be dead this upcoming turn. So let's hit it with that. Looking good. Oh, yeah, that's big. This guy's pretty big. I'm sure he's got the same weakness as the little slimes, though. Wonder what kind of attacks he got. Well, I'm pretty sure we're about, we're about to find out, probably. Alright, let's just hit this thing. Let's get rid of his little guys so we can scan the big one. We're gonna try and scan everything if we can. Alright. Well, at least he's level 2 compared to this level 4 buddies. Giant green slime. Forest dwelling slime. 600 elf? Okay. Huge version of the common green slime. Attacks with wind and poison skills. Ooh. Weak to fire, ice, thunder. Resist, water, poison, earth. Weak to doom and death. I don't think I have any of those. Alright, um... So you're gonna probably be the most useless for against the big thing. Uh, okay, let's do that. Kill off the little one. 101. There he goes. That leaves big guy with over 600 health. At least he's weak to fire. Actually, this might not be too hard. If one fire hit did about that much, I honestly think we'll be good. Um. Temper, buffs and allies attack. Ooh. Yeah, do that on yourself so you can hit it with like a decent normal attack. It's like having unlimited beer, except I mainly use it on myself. And lose a turn. Uh, yeah. Really? Not even a hundred. Come on. I'm sure this will do better, right? Oh yeah. This thing's practically half dead already. Ooh, that's cool. Alright, let's hit you with this. 79. Yeah, I knew he'd be weakest for this case. 99. How much health does that have left? 113. Alright, from the looks of things, there's a small chance that this will kill it. Nice! For something so huge, he wasn't so tough after all. I'd say. Could have been worse. Alright. 
Let's see what else we got. More bushes. Is that a tree? Is, is that a tree? It's a tree. I should have known. We faced trees before. Right, let's haunt a tree. That's what these are. Well, we can kill one and maybe scan the other. I'm gonna assume they're with the fire. Yep, figured. <laughs> it's a tree. What do you expect? Let's scan this one. <clears throat> Haunted tree, evil spirit. An old tree possessed by evil. Can inflict stun and poison. Ooh. Stun? Who's stunned? Cannot move for a number of turns shown. One turn. Lovely. I didn't check its weaknesses. Shoot. Stop pretending to be a foe, tree. You're just a tree. Exactly. Well, she's stunned. Okay. Fire, thunder, earth. Oh, he is weak to earth. What? Why would a tree be weak to earth? Uh, that, that one, that one genuinely does not make sense. Those spores can stun you, by the way. You won't be able to move for a while if you didn't believe. No. I couldn't tell. Just kill it. Nice. Another level up. And it looks like we also got crows. Whoever of us has the highest accuracy should probably attack these crows. Looks like they can dodge well. Um, accuracy. Four. Four. Five. Well, there's kind of three of them, so... And he's the scanner, so... <laughs> Things aren't really looking well. Maybe, can we torch a bird? It's a swift crow. Ah, we can torch birds. Lovely. Chicken for dinner. More of a chicken's late cousin crow. Scavenger bird. An evasive bird which searches for shiny gems. Gotta evade a five. Okay, yeah. Thunder, wind, and ice. I don't have any of those. Really? Three hits. Yeah, yeah. Your friend went with one. You gotta hit me three times. Nope. Go away. You, you, that's a mean bird. That one's mean. You look at maybe live a little longer. He he was nicer. That's what we just thunder wind and ice. Oh, let's just hit it with fire. Nice. See, that bird's a lot nicer. He only hits once. The other one hit twice. There we go. Eh, we don't need to fight the other birds, too. There's the turtle. This turtle's got some hefty HP. Not as much as giant slime, though. Okay, so it should maybe be about... I'm gonna assume... 400? Kill the bush. Wow, can't even kill the bush still. Kill that bush. See, learn, learn some lessons from her, man. Come on, man. Right, let's scan the turtle. Leaf eater. I think you mean Torterra. Leaf eater, giant tortoise. 400. Hey, I was right. Defensive foe which attacks with earth and poison. Weak to earth, ice, bomb, and fire. Resist water, thunder, wind, and poison. Hmm. Well, let's just finish off the bush. There we go. And start hitting this thing with some fire. Then we'll get a taste of earth as well. 116. Nice. Not doing too bad, I don't think. Weak. I can survive many of those. Well, he was also weak to earth, so let's give him a taste of the old quake. That did nothing. Alright. Fire him. Hopefully that will take him out. We are good. Looks like the force is getting thicker. Guess we're pretty deep now. We'd be a fair bit further if our animal bright activist was not trying to protect every creature and plant we see. 
Nuh-uh. I don't mind if you kill the slimy ones. You have a slimy heart. Ugh. Well, let's just keep moving. There's a big guy again. Is that chest in the trees? Well, I want this. Uh, I gotta figure out a way to get... There we go. Wasn't there like... Watching a... I got a branch on my face. Tragic. <laughs> oh, secret entrance. Whoa. Sorry, my skirt got caught on something. Oops. <laughs> God, they're so mean there. Hey, a lollipop. Hey, some bombs. I didn't know we were going to get explosive up in here. And again, we got Lance. I should have figured we'd get explosive. 